certainly may have noticed the uh, temperatures dropping this week, and it appears the wildlife is noticing that, too. A large flock of geese was spotted flying over Anchorage. You can hear them honking to each other as they fly south for the winter. If they're paying attention to the forecast, we probably won't see them again until spring. Yeah, you know, the oh. birds, the whales, they're all... <laughs> they're all heading south. So long. <laughs> Well, you know, I guess I'm going to head south. <laughs> hey, we're coming with you. <laughs> now, we do have some colder conditions across uh, South Central this morning to wake you up. We are seeing those wind chills sitting in the 20s. Uh, as you head to the slope, we've got those wind chills sitting in the single digits this morning. So colder conditions continue uh, to spread across the state. We're certainly going to fill it later this week uh, into the weekend where we're going to see those overnight lows dropping down into the teens and 20s across South Central. Even out towards southeast, we are expecting uh, this weekend, if not early next week, those overnight overnight lows dropping uh, below freezing for the first time this season. So this is the coldest air we've seen, at least in South Central, since about April. Uh, notice that temperature trend, 8 degrees colder in Anchorage, 5 degrees colder in Fairbanks, and 13 degrees colder in Kotzebue. Uh, so that trough of colder air really digging through uh, the northwest Arctic borough down through South Central, while that ridge out towards uh, the uh, Bering Sea is keeping things uh, fairly seasonal as you head out towards southwest Alaska and through the Aleutians uh, with temperatures this afternoon set to warm back back into the 30s and 40s uh, for you. We do have an area of low pressure uh, just, uh, just to the east of uh, the Prince William Sound that is uh, going to lead to some rain showers, if not some areas of wintry mix uh, out towards southeast, uh, primarily in those higher elevations where we'll see that chance for some wintry mix. And then out towards the Aleutians, while things will remain fairly quiet in terms of precipitation today, We've got that ridge of high pressure, and then just south of Unalaska is an area of low pressure. And embedded within that flow, you are going to see some gusty northerly winds for parts of the Aleutians. Uh, so be prepared for that throughout the remainder of today. And of course, here in South Central, we'll also see some windy conditions. Already beginning to see some of that develop for parts of South Central. Uh, we're going to see those temperatures today warm into the upper 30s, and then those gusty winds we will see uh, will continue to advex some of that colder air uh, across South Central. We'll see those winds beginning to pick up later this afternoon into the evening hours with the strongest winds for South Central expected overnight into Friday, but those winds will begin to increase today. Uh, we're talking about winds here in Anchorage could gust anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per hour. Uh, down through western parts of the Kenai, you can see those winds of 20 to 30 miles per hour. And then through the valley, those winds will gust today up to about 30 miles per hour. And then into tomorrow, uh, we could see uh, Palmer, Wasilla, and surrounding locations seeing some gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. Uh, so be prepared for that. This is a multi-day event. And again, those winds will be the strongest overnight on into your Friday. So that wind forecast showing that uh, for the most part, those winds are going to be out of the north, northwest for Anchorage. Now out towards Palmer, Wasilla, you'll likely see those winds coming in out of the northeast. So those Matanuska winds picking up. Uh, so gusty winds of 25 miles per hour here in Anchorage with higher winds expected in the valley. Temperatures today across the state, anywhere from the 20s along the slope. Uh, near freezing in Fairbanks, out towards the Aleutians, temperatures in the 40s, and of course, uh, rain continues out towards the southeast. And we'll see even heavier rain into your Friday. More sunshine to be expected across South Central. The only change in the forecast today outside of that colder weather is those winds uh, that will stay with us through the day. And again, some breezy conditions across the Kenai, gusty winds through Prince William Sound, where Whittier could see some winds upwards of 40 miles per hour. And into the valley, those winds will gust today. Stronger wind gust expected into your Friday for a large portion of South Central. Uh, so be prepared for that multi-day event that's going to drive in colder conditions, keeping us in the mid-30s through the weekend, overnight lows in the teens and 20s. But we rebound back into the lower 40s as we welcome in next week. All right. Thanks, Aaron.